Okay, this is a blower door the set, and um, our engineer Vladimir over here will be setting up the blower door. <laughs> Go ahead. First, we set up a lower panel which will be holding the uh, fan, which is a variable speed fan, and you can stretch it in a horizontal direction and, and the next part is the uh, top part because every door is a different size then you have to put the bottom part first and the top part second and adjust those and tie them up very uh, they, they have to be very tight they will have to hold the pressure of the fan and the third part which goes in the middle which is a uh, which called which is called XY part because it expands both horizontally and vertically to cover up the remaining space the objective of this insert is to imitate the outside door uh, the fact that there are some cracks in between the panels, it, it kind of imitates the the fact that the outside door is also not completely airtight. But this is close enough. So, I hope this is so I hope this is tight now. So those lanes stretch and then and uh, and there are springs inside and that allows to tie it extra hard. So this is pretty firm. Okay. Now we got these little inserts that they cover this hole. And that hole will be different from door to door. If the door frame is a little bit wider, then the hole will be bigger and we have different size of inserts that we can put in there to, to cover the that hole. It is challenging sometimes when the door frame is small, but the outside doors usually are, you know, good size. So, so that's as far as the door goes. And now we'll start putting the variable speed fan. This variable speed fan contains the sensor inside and which is controlled through the meter and the meter you you can designate the pressure you want in the house or the speed of the fan and um, okay and pretty tight those inserts allow controlling the airflow you can change the configuration so that you will have more or less air going through so you have many ways of uh, controlling the airflow uh, by changing the uh, speed of the fan and also um, changing the configuration of these excess holes so We've got the power cord, it's not plugged in yet, everything else will be connected first and uh, as a last will be plugged to the we'll get the power supply going so now this is a digital control and we have the umbilical cord the cord that contains all the piping that we need. There's a tube that goes outside and it needs to go outside um, and away from the fan, from the flow, but it will measure um, the, air pr uh, the pressure outside. Basically what the fan does looks at the pressure difference between the outside of the house and the inside of the house. And 
you know, the other, the clear two is um, connected to the fan and that's the one that measures the flow through. Now we're connecting the, the digital control panel. And it can be recharged. At this point, it's charged enough, so it should be sufficient. Well, just in charge.